Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrowny.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Go ahead and find me on Google Plus, too. Today, we're actually doing a double Daily Dose of Drupal because I'm going to go over two modules that essentially do almost the same thing. There's a few minor differences, but I want to go over both of them so you can watch the video and decide which one you would rather use if you need that functionality on the next Drupal project you work on. Basically, I'm going to be going over the scroll to top and the back to top modules. Very simple ideas and very simple concepts here. All it is, is as you can see from the images, it adds a little arrow button in the bottom corner and when you click it, it scrolls you back up to the top. This can be useful for iPad-like devices where there's a lot of people, there's there a lot of scrolling, they scroll down the page and they want to easily be able to get back to the top, you can add this module and it will allow users to click the button and it will scroll up to the top. Let's go ahead and show you the first one. We'll go to the scroll to top and this is one that I've used on quite a few websites. So after we save it, we'll go ahead and look at the configuration options here because this is going to be one of the differences. You can you change the label, you can change the position if you want it right, left, or the middle. You can change the colors. You can hide this label if you don't want it. And you can also make it show up on the administration theme. So certain, uh, you may sometimes have an administration theme on your site and so you may need this to show up. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that and we'll refresh this page and we'll start scrolling down. You'll notice it starts to appear. Simply click on it, it brings you back. Very simple. As you can see, you can, of course, you kind of fig configure those colors depending on the hover using the configuration options, but it's very simple. So we can go ahead and quick change it just to take another quick look. So we'll come back into the configuration page and we'll say we'll go just a simple color. You can see there's a preview now. Change the text and let's say we want it on the left side. So we'll save this. Refresh the page. Now you can see it's over here our changes have taken effect and it of course works. So next let's go ahead and look at the back to top module. So I'm going to start by turning this one off. And we'll save this and we will configure it. you can see that this one allows you to prevent the back to top showing on mobile and touch devices. You can also prevent it on administration pages and edit pages. You can set the number of pixels which can be used to trigger the back to top button. Okay, You can also change the placement so there's a whole bunch of different options for placement here. We'll leave it in the bottom right and you can have it use an image or you can have it use text and CSS. And if you haven't used text and CSS, it integrates it with the color module, which allows you to set the colors. We'll go ahead and start with an image, and we will take a look. As you can see, that's a little bit different button style, depending on what you would like for the button. Okay, so let's also go ahead and let's change this from an image to the CSS option, and we'll change the colors. Let's change this to 150 just to see what that does. Look at the text and CSS options. And we'll go ahead and say background colors that, border colors that, we'll hover a light pink, and the text can be white. So I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to look good, but we'll give it a try. So now after I save that, you can see it's changed it to text and CSS. It got rid of the image. Let's go back in and go back to the configuration page. 
The only question is I'm not exactly sure what this does, so let's go ahead and set this to 200 just to find out. The other options are very self-explanatory. Okay. I, th I guess what this means is how many pixels down the screen do you need to go before the back to top button shows up. So as you can see I'm quite a ways down the screen and the back to top button now appears as I'm scrolling. If I come back in and I can change that to be after 50 pixels instead. Now it shows up right away. So that's what that does. You can change how quickly you want the button to show up. Defaults to 100. You can of course change that number. And that's really all there is today on the, uh, today's episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. Two different modules that essentially do very similar things. Go ahead and take a look at the styles and the configuration options and choose for yourself which one you'd like to use next time you need to easily allow users to scroll up to the top of the page. So that's it for this time and we will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.